All right. Hey, what's up, guys? Sniper Nick here, tuning back in live here on Money Monday, Money Mara Monday. I'm going to go over this quick little intraday trade here with Mara, where we made a quick little 515, as you can see with our buy and sell right there. So check out now, jumping right into it, check out the yearly chart, guys. We have an extremely beat up chart. But it's getting a huge first green day here, as you can see. And also, it has news. So this stock came out with some Bitcoin news in the morning. If you were following our Twitter, you, you could have checked up. I think it was around 1230. We were really loving the way that it was setting up. How it was consolidating at 2 with that VWAP. All right. And so now we'll just go ahead and dive right into live trading. So jumping right into it, as you can see, Mara had an awesome, awesome morning push where it ended up topping out around 210, getting a little pullback, but consolidated very nicely around two. And then we get this nice volume bump, which ends up pushing the stock all the way to test the high of 210, breaking it and making a new high of 212 here. Now, since it is only 116, I'm not gonna chase. I do not like buying into highs of days in the middle of the day. I like buying on dips. Middle of the day, I like buying on dips. So. I'm just going to go ahead and be patient here and wait to see its first pull pullback and see how it does when it tests this 206 support. So ideally, I'd love to get a spot around 206. When it was at 204, 214, I actually told myself, if this stock gets to 206, I'm getting back, I'm getting in this for sure with a two cut. Now, as you can saw, it did touch 206 and then bounce right away, and I, I didn't even set a limit. So I'm letting it play out a little bit longer. You know, I'm being patient. It, keep in mind, it is only 120, so I'm being patient. Now, let, let's see how this stock, this stock acts right here. So as, you, as you can see, it got a little bit of a bounce, but now we get a red candle. Now it's dipping some more, so it's good that I'm that I was patient. Now I'm waiting here to see if it holds that 206 support. Which check this out, it held it. And it's holding it right now. So I'm just sitting here patiently waiting, right? I'm in no rush. It's 125, right? The stock, what I really love though, what I love about this stock right now, this stock is up 35%. It's its first big green day. It's consolidating very, very nicely at two. It has great um, yearly support around 190, right? It also is showing some great support around two and 190 here. So a lot of signs are lining up for me. As you can see, it's starting to bottom out a little bit at that 206, and it looks like it's starting to get a little bit of a perk up. So now I'm thinking about starting to get my buy. Keep in mind, guys, if I do buy, I'm using that two as my cut, and I told myself I'd also actually look to add around 203. So I'm watching here, I'm being kind of patient. I'm hoping I can see 207, 206 again, but I don't know if I'm gonna get it anymore, so I go ahead and hit the bam. Let's buy this mofo. Boom, so we get a starter in Mara on its first big green day. It's 130, it's up 36%. It's been holding that 36% very nicely throughout the day. It's created great support at two. Let's give this thing a run. Also guys, if you looked at its yearly in the past, the stock has had huge green days in the past, so it's shown that it has spikeability, and it's also had good follow-up days. So my anticipation that you know, it's 1.30, my anticipation that we're gonna get a turnaround here, we're gonna break the high day, and we're gonna go ahead and keep pushing to the end of the day, and check this out, boom. So unfortunately, I missed filming uh, the re uh, up until uh, around three, where we'll continue, so I took a little picture here. Um, as you guys can see, where I got in is exactly kind of like where this yellow line is, it was around that two, 208 spot, ended up holding that 206 perfectly, getting a nice little bounce and rip past the high day of 212, making a new high of 220 before pulling back. On that pullback, I did debate on rebuying, but I told myself I'll wait for a bigger pullback to rebuy. However, since I did have 4200 4, in it, I decided if it did get to 245, I'd secure some of the bag. Remember, I'm just getting used to playing with bigger positions. 4,500 is it, it, it's, it's a little bit bigger for me. It shouldn't be, but it is. But I'll get used to that. And now let's go ahead and jump into live action and see how the rest of it played out. So as we fast forward a little bit, unfortunately what we missed, guys, as this thing made a new high, it did pass at 235 and I ended up securing at 240. So I got a half bag secured at 240. 
pushed to 255 where I was up a thousand bucks, but I decided I'm gonna be patient, right? I may add some shares back as it dips, which you're seeing right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and be patient. And I anticipated this thing being a first big green day where it's gonna close strong and we get a nice gap up tomorrow. So now I'm just go ahead and playing it out. Oh, and also what we did miss is I actually did dip by. I rebought those shares back in, guys, at this 235. So at that crack that it's, it's now coming to test, I actually rebought. As you can see, my average price is now up to 220. And now it's as it's dipping more, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna go ahead and buy some more into the di into this dip. Because remember, guys, my plan is. Now that my now that my position is 220, I'm using 220 as my cut. But my plan is that we're gonna get a strong close. So I'd love to get see it hold 230 and get maybe like a quick little buy, quick little add at 230. As you can see, it does hold 230 very nicely, but it gets a bounce quicker than I, a little bit quicker than I thought. So I'm just watching it here. I'm watching it play out, right? I got my 4,000 back in it. I've already secured about 260 bucks midday. Boom, now we're getting a strong push at 340. Now I'm feeling nice, right? We pushed past that 240 resistance. Now I'm looking, I'm gonna look to, to, to add some more, even some more shares on this, what I think is this 240 support as you see here that it's testing. So I'm debating on getting in, thinking about it, and bam, here we go, I set my limit. So as you can see, we got 15 minutes into the close. I figured if I get a fill here, we'll use that 228 support, what, that low that it just made as my cut. And if it doesn't hit that, we'll go ahead and play this overnight and go for a gap up play in the morning, right? As I'm anticipating that, the stock has had huge volume compared to the past. And check this out. So I got my fill. So my, now my position has averaged up even more to 224. So that's my average position going into close. So let's see how it plays out. So 347, 348, 349, this thing starts to consolidate. I'm, I'm really... I, my thesis was that it would start to get a little bit of a push, at least by 350. So I'm waiting it out a little bit, seeing where we should go. Now my snipers here, they're actually texting me and they're saying they, they like that. We're up about 550 bucks. They do like that we're up 550 right now in Mara. So they think, you know, hey, why not maybe secure a little bit more? So I start thinking about it, but it's holding. It is 351, it's still holding, so I'm going to wait it out a little bit. However, now it's 352. We're not getting the push that I thought it would get. So now I actually think maybe, maybe, I, maybe I'll secure a little bit more here. I'm up about 550. Let's see. It is holding though. Honestly, I should have never thought about this. I should have just stuck to my plan. Really wish I would have. You know, take this as a learning opportunity, guys. I took this as a huge learning opportunity here. I'm literally straying away from the plan. I'm getting my emotions get in. I'm thinking, hey, I'm up 550. Let me lock in more profit. I'm not thinking about my, my plan as much anymore. The long-term chart, the first green day, the big follow-up. Now that it's dipping and it's been dipping for 10 minutes into the close, I'm getting emotional. I have no clue why, but I am, right? I secure, all right, so I secured a little bit more. So now we have about 400 secured in the bag. As you see, since I did sell a lot of it, my, the rest of my shares left are a little bit higher. So don't low, low, love my position, but I am anticipating pushing to the close. It is testing this, two, it's, it might test this 228, and check this out. Take this as a huge learning lesson, guys. I get emotional, I think there's gonna be a sell-off, right? And I go ahead and secure the rest of my shares, another 150 bucks to make it 515 into the close. So with from 357 on, right after I sold it, check this out, we get a nice little bounce and push into the close. And then we get a whole nother push, ends up testing after hours this 250 mark, this 250 resistance. So I left a lot, a lot, a lot on the table. Might have left five, 600 bucks on the table there. You know, and this is intraday. This is right here. I could have sold for another six, seven, five, six, seven hundred bucks. But hey, played the meat of the move, played it very safely, had great support, didn't have to risk much. And check this out. You get a $515 intraday trade I think it was like a two and a half hour trade, 515 bucks. And that's what it is, guys. And I hope you like this video. Always make sure to check us out on Instagram. We're on there pretty frequently. We're posting throughout the trading day. Make sure you also check us out on Twitter. If you were following us today, you might have been able to jump on Mara. And if you did jump on Mara a little bit early with us, some people even could have got a better position when we called it out at 203, 202. 
when we just pointed it out, that would have been ideal. I hope some of you guys got that, baby. All right, and then lastly, guys, check us out on Facebook. And this is actually where we'll be posting our morning watch list every morning until we have our website. So go ahead and check us out there. Anyway, I hope everybody has a great rest of their money Monday. Let's keep this rest of the week going strong. I'm going to go ahead and keep watching this Venus Serena match. And uh, let's do this, guys. Take a bag Tuesday tomorrow. Sniper Nick out.